Today we're going to be taking a first look at Leica's brand new AI powered TS20 total station. Burke, it's great to have you here in Detroit. I'm excited to see the new hardware. Tell us, what can we expect with the new TS20? Well, it's a whole new platform built from the bottom up with all new hardware, all new operating system, an update to Captivate, and all new MPU built into this total station. So it's going to allow us to be able to do much more for traditional answer bank. One of the things with the TS20 that uh, we're still proud to say is it's a true total station. It has an optical path. And we have built in autofocus. So there is this, a standard off autofocus with a single button click. And also continual autofocus. So if you hold down the button, it'll continue autofocus, which allows you to be able to point at any prism or any site that you're trying to, to measure and you don't have to strain your eyes as much. Nice. So it's about you know working behind the instrument, we still do it, not maybe not in a day to day, but quite often, and it's about making that as easy as possible. There is a long range Bluetooth handle that is integrated. That's really the way that the, the, the main connection is gonna be working, is long range Bluetooth to the controller. Now I know that CS16, it was like a separate handle that you had to like mm -hmm. attach. Yep. Is it the same thing here, or is it like completely built in now? Uh, completely built in, yep. It's the long range Bluetooth here. Nice. Again, the handle comes off as needed, but it is 100% built in, which is gonna streamline functionality for users. And yeah. again, it's included in the major kittings, so you just get long range Bluetooth and away you go. One of the things we're really excited about in the TS20 is the new AI feature, AI Detect. It uses the MPU and AI learning to be able to determine what type of prism you're shooting to. So we're shooting to a 360 prism, but in the software it's set to a mini prism. When I hit distance, it'll take the measurement, analyze the prism, and then flash a warning message. The warning message pops up. What it allows us to do is to either select yes to change the prism because it knows it's a 360 or we can pick our target list. So I'm just gonna hit yes. It'll automatically switch the prism to the 360 and we can store our point. Great, so that means that we're really minimizing the error that people can have because they may have a round prism versus a 360 prism and now our total station can identify that and minimize the different offset errors that we could have. Exactly, those little errors that surveyors see out in the field they get minimized and we don't have to worry about back in the office. It's just an extra step to be able to make sure that the measurements we get are right. There are new motors, very, very quiet. They're very, very fast. So we'll just take a peek at how quick and quiet they are. So this is the TS-16. And again, we don't hear that buzzing sound that the TS-16s used to make, mm -hmm. which is quite nice. But the TS-20s are gonna spin at this uh, oh, speed at launch. Yeah, that's right? cool. Yeah, but theoretically, they could move this fast. So it is quite <laughs> quick and it is uh, able to be very quiet. Yeah, it is actually really quiet. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a awesome. big change from the TS-16s. So again, the TS-16 was great. But the TS-20 is just a step above. Nice. There are big improvements with the image quality in the TS-20 as well. So going from five megapixels in the TS-16 to 20 megapixels with the TS-20, it allows us to get more from the imagery when we capture it. With the faster operating system, it allows us to capture the images very quickly. So single images under a second, and also at launch, we're gonna have a standard panoramic package, but coming in three, six months is gonna be a fast sweep pano. It's gonna allow you to be able to capture the images in under 30 seconds or under 90 seconds for a full dome pano. So we're gonna see a lot more usage of the panoramic images going through the Infinity workflow. There's big changes with functionality with the AP20 as well. It has the standard AP20 ID, it has the auto height, all of that is there. But the tilt is where we see the biggest improvements. The TS20 is a 25 hertz EDM, which makes uh, initialization of the IMU inside of the uh, AP20 to be almost instantaneous. One of the things I remember with the TS16 was while I'm, you know, surveying, it would take a lot of movement to keep it going. Mm -hmm. But if I were to stop because I have to update the code or for whatever reason, I lose that initialization. Then I have to sit there and start doing all the movements to get it back. Yeah. Is that gonna be something I have to face with the TS20? Not with the TS20 and the AP20. There's a real reason that the AP20 and the TS20 have that same last couple yeah. of digits. This was really made for this instrument. That higher EDM rate really does allow to work and not even think about it. You stop, it'll hold for you know 45, 50 seconds, and then you just keep on working. Very so right. it is a big change from what we saw with the TS-16. AI learning is used to better detect prisms in difficult conditions, like misty rain or behind objects like blowing leaves, where it might only see partial parts of the prism. In the past, we would just determine that's not a prism and move on. Now, it'll be able to look at that prism, determine if it is a prism or not, and be able to use it. So in a situation like this, where the prism is partially blocked, 
you're still going to be able to get it with power search you're still going to be able to measure with atr so again this is the first total station with uh, a built-in mpu which allows us to do a whole bunch of unique features again we'll get to see some of them while we're out surveying we have a few features right at launch that are going to be available who knows where we can go with this new total station awesome exciting yeah. appreciate you burke thank you so yeah. much for coming out today if you guys would like to learn more about the new ts20 be sure to check out the link in the description if you want to learn more about surveying and enhance your skills check out the surveyschool.com and until then, I'll see you guys next time.